the Zax. One day, making tracks in the prairie of Prax, came a north-going Zax and a south-going Zax. And it happened that both of them came to a place where they bumped. There they stood, foot to foot, face to face. Look here now, the north-going Zack said. I say, you are blocking my path. You are right in my way. I'm a north-going Zax, and I always go north. Get out of my way now and let me go forth. Who's in whose way? snapped the south-going Zax. I always go south, making south-going treks. So you're in my way, and I ask you to move, and let me go south in my south-going groove. Then the north-going Zax puffed his chest up with pride. I never, he said, take a step to one side. And I'll prove to you that I won't change my ways if I have to keep standing here fifty-nine days. And I'll prove to you, yelled the south-going Zax, that I can stand here in the prairie of Prax for fifty-nine years, for I live by a rule that I learned as a boy back in south-going school. Never budge, that's my rule, never budge in the least, not an inch to the west, not an inch to the east. I'll stay here, not budging, I can and I will if it makes you and me and the whole world stand still. Well, of course the world didn't stand still. The world grew. In a couple of years, the new highway came through. And they built it right over those two stubborn sacks and left them there, standing, unbudged, in their tracks.